here we go fellow fans of clash of clans thank you guys so much for stopping by it is your host galadon i appreciate the fact that you decided to spend a few minutes of your day with me because today is the episode we've been waiting for no cash clash the journey to legend league well uh we got there already yeah it, it, it didn't take nearly as long as many anticipated including yours truly uh the bases well, let's just say, of course, yes, we found many gaps next to town halls. We found many poorly designed anti-three-star bases that can never defend against Sneaky Goblins. And then there's simply the fact that the Sneaky Goblin has turned Clash of Clans upside down. And what I mean is, once you get to Town Hall 11, if you're using Sneaky Goblins, the game is relatively easy almost to the point of monotony. I could probably go ahead and go out on a limb and say that Sneaky Goblins have taken away much of the challenge that is Clash of Clans farming because now there's really not a whole lot to getting the loot and of course getting Town Halls. This was such an easy push to Legend League and although as of this second in this attack, I'm not to Legend League yet, we will be there momentarily and we'll get there well, let's just say I was taken by surprise as to how we got there, and I think you guys will be as well. So yes, we're seeing lots of Town Hall 12s, 13s, 14s. We are wiping them out. We were doing a lot of sniping. The loot we were not focusing on, although it was very easy to roll in, take a Town Hall, and then grab a little bit of spare loot on the way out just to say, hey, you know what? I got your Town Hall. Now I'm gonna take some of your loot. Oftentimes, however, I would punish these players by giving them no shield. That's right, we roll in. Remember, the Town Hall Destruction does not in and of itself provide a shield to defending players. So yeah, this actually is kind of a problem just because, I mean, bases like this are relatively well designed. The Town Hall not way out on the outside and so easy to attack this guy and roll over here, grab a few thousand more Dark Elixir and still leave he doesn't get a shield. He's going to get attacked again very shortly. Yeah, feels bad. Okay, Titan 1, here we go. We are on our way. And again, like I said, it just it was not all that challenging. This happened so fast, in fact, that I don't even have any upgrades to cover in today's episode of No Cash Clash. And yes, that does make me feel a little bit disappointed because I'll be honest with you guys. I thought that this series, the Quest to Legend League, would take, uh, you know, a couple of weeks. No, not really. Okay, you'll notice. Uh, did you see? Did you see that right there? Did you see? Galadon can learn. I actually learned to send in the probe sneaky goblin to trigger the tornado trap and then send everybody else in to wipe out the town hall. And y yes, I did just use the word probe. Another town hall goes down and we pick up another handful of trophies. It didn't come quickly, but the attacks were back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And oh wait, oh yeah, okay, so I said there were no upgrades. Okay, fine, there was an upgrade. There you go. We had a, a free builder and I, I put it to work somewhere. Okay, hold on. Hey, I wanted to say shout out to M Christian uh, C number 18. I'm not sure what that means, but looks like he's in the Philippines. And a beautiful base design, uh, even more beautiful, the loot that was sitting around here. One of the biggest raids I've ever seen. And this is why Sneaky Goblins can bring you the world, right? You can get it all. You can get trophies. You can get loot. It doesn't matter because Sneaky Goblins are just crazy, crazy strong. Rolling in, we're going to make sure that we get the three star on the loot. Hold on. That means the clan castle needs to go down here by the sea. So a haste, a rage, and... That is all she wrote. Beautiful and just such a huge amount of loot. Again, I wanted to shout out M. Christian C number 18. Uh, I, I would like to know what that means uh, if he sees this video, but who knows? I hear that players, and actually I know this, players in the Philippines are some of the most passionate players in all of Clash. I know that because I went to Manila with Chief Pat a few years back and we literally were recognized everywhere we went. It was the craziest experience. We also got to go to the Flow Festival and see Skrillex and Zed's Dead, and that was amazing, and ask Pat about his phone. And uh, yeah, so okay, so here we go. This is it. This is how I ended up getting to Legend League. It was on defense. We defended our way from Titan 1 into Legend League as a Town Hall 12. 
And okay, now you would think that maybe this was a guy dropping trophies. Well, he did drop trophies, but it's a bad attack, okay? It's a Electro Dragon attack. It's a not a great attack. It's an attempt at the town hall, but it's a fail. Yeah, so uh, it's going to get about a third of the loots, but the Electro Dragons, uh, no. Now, you guys, you'll also notice that this base was only my southern teaser with the town hall swapped out into the core. I, I didn't change anything else around. It was honestly a terrible base to defend with, and I'm actually surprised that we had it, but there you go. 18 trophies pushes us into Legend League for the very first time, and uh, now I'm, I'm set with a quandary. Here is the problem. Now, we're in the middle of the day on Legend League, so if we sign up right now, we're likely to take and be forced to attack about three or four times. There were a few hours left, and I wanted to go as high as I possibly could. You can see I was actually above Galadon, the main account, by a few trophies. So this was the plan. We're going to hold on. We're going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for Legend League right at the end of the day. Now, of course, I fully expect to get thrashed for minus 320 trophies on day one in Legend League. But here's the thing. If we start attacking the moment that Legend League resets, we could push higher. And my goal, 5,100 trophies. Can we get to 5,100 with attacks free to play before we start to get smashed on defense? and shoved back down into Titan 1. I think it's certainly possible. I'm going to try it, and I hope that you guys are going to be there to watch it. Please do, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting the little bell, turning on notifications, and hey, if you like the mini-series, leave a like on the video as well. Let's go to the status report, where really nothing changed except for the trophies. Mm. There it is. We made it to Legend League as a Town Hall 12, most certainly one of the most difficult achievements in all of Clash of Clans. Aha. I'm kidding. It was easy. Okay, ah. so the heroes, they'll get going. Yes, my favorite league, of course, is Legend yeah. League. And my next goal is to see how many two-star attacks we can get in Legend League and try to get to 5,100 trophies. Galifam, you got all the way to the end of the episode. That means you are the true hashtag, Galifam. And that is why I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there and make the best the rest of your day. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for Marvel Attacks. Galadon, you've got no chance. You're not going to make it to Legend League. Just give up, Galadon. Peter, I literally am in Legend League right now.